Here we have a question on transformations. First question is about reflection. We've got a reflect shape A, and the second one is about describing the transformation that maps P onto Q. If you haven't had a go at this question already, do have a go now by pausing the video. Okay. The first one, a reflection in a shape in line x equals minus 1. Now this will cause some people difficulty, line x equals minus 1, knowing where that is. You shouldn't stop that from, from, ha from making you have a go. If you're not sure, then have a go, because if you do reflect the shape in either a vertical line, so you get a shape over here somewhere, or a horizontal line, so you get a shape down here somewhere, you will get one mark for doing that reflection, as long as you do a vertical or horizontal and not something in a diagonal. But x equals minus 1, where is this line x equals minus 1? Well, it's telling us the x-coordinate of all the points on the line is equal to minus 1. So if we could think of a, num a, a pair of coordinates where x is minus 1, we could think of minus 1, 0, which would be this coordinate. Uh, minus 1, 1, that has an x-coordinate of minus 1. Minus 1, 5. Minus 1, 6. So hopefully that's fairly clear that that is this vertical line that goes through minus 1. Now, if I'm going to reflect in this line, pretend this is a mirror, then this point here, and when we're doing transformations, we should just try and think about one point at a time for all the points around the shape. A um, piece of tracing paper would be very helpful here. If you trace this shape and then flipped it over onto this side, the same distance away from this line as it is now. So this point here is one two squares away so if we make it one two squares and put it here and then this point is the same but underneath this point is four squares away from the line so it needs to go over here this point over there and then the final point in the middle over here uh, a very common mistake here is to people actually draw the line and then do it in the uh, y-axis or the x equals zero line and make a mistake there, but if you read, if you have done this properly, you should end up with a shape looking like that. So a reflection in that vertical line there. Okay, so there's one mark if you do a correct reflection, so one that's over here somewhere looking like this, or one that's flipped down this way, uh, will give you one mark, and it being in the correct place will be two marks. Okay, in part B, we've got to describe a single transformation that maps P onto Q. Now Q is the same size as P, it's the same orientation, same way up. It's not been spun around, it's not been reflected, so if it's the same way up, same size, that's what we call a translation, because all that's happened is it's been slid from this position across to this position. If we just get a, a copy of P and put it over there. Now if we take a point on P, so if we start maybe this top corner, and work out how many places it's moved to get to here, then we can describe its translation properly. So we move it one to the left, two to the left, three, four, five, six to the left, then it needs to come down one space. So it's gone six to the left and down one. Okay, now when we're counting that out without um, shape. We could tra we could um, trace this and use that, um, but the main thing we need to, to focus on is a particular point and just count from there: one, two, three, four, five, six, and down one gives us our translation. Okay. Now you're allowed to use six to the left and one down, um, but technically that's usually drawn as a vector, which is written six over one just like a coordinate but with no comma you have the six which is how far you go to the left in fact that needs to be minus six in a, in a vector because it's going to the left six and it's one down so that's minus one if it was going to the right that would be plus six and up would be positive one or just one but as it's going to the left and down they are negative directions and so they must have a minus six minus one okay there we go